Hey guys, welcome back to Nia Nirvana. Today's Pursuit to Paradise takes us to Villa Rosa in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Today's video is another welcome set up by my event planning company, Leia Lux Events. So along with the house tour, I'll show you guys the welcome setup that I did for my client. Villa Rosa features four bedrooms, six bathrooms, a private pool, private gym, and a private spa. As you can see, there's a beautiful living space with a TV as soon as you enter and the most beautiful wooden staircase just beside it. Here we have the more formal living area. It features very high ceilings, obviously lots of natural lighting and lots of seating. And here is how we transform the space as the welcome area. Here we have lots of floating balloons and a gold geo backdrop with a balloon garland and a custom happy birthday sign. As well as lit marquee numbers and of course flowers. Happy birthday Kara! Mm -hmm. The backyard has beautiful views and features a large private pool and lots of outdoor seating and dining areas. Here we also have a small deck space, a very large lawn space, and a jacuzzi tub. Back inside we have more dining areas and a bar. The bar features another TV, bar stools, and a small kitchenette with a sink and cooler, and lots of cabinet space. This is where we place the welcome gift bags for the guests. Now onto the master bedroom. The master suite features a king bed, TV, an outdoor terrace, a walk-in closet, an ensuite bathroom, and an ensuite living space. Of course, we added helium balloons and a happy birthday balloon banner for the birthday girl. The master bathroom was gorgeous to say the least and had double-sided sinks, a walk-in shower, a soaking tub, and a beautiful private courtyard with lawn seating just outside. Literally an oasis. Yep, we're still in the master suite. So here we have an ensuite private living space that features another TV and sofa. This living space also has its own private bathroom and it does have a separate entry. Down the hall, we have another bedroom that features a king bed, TV, an outdoor terrace, closet, and ensuite bathroom. I absolutely love the tropical details in this room. Here's the birthday banner that we added. Talk 30 to me. <laughs> so this bathroom also has double sinks, a walk-in shower, and a soaking tub. Honestly, all the bathrooms are a dream. And now for upstairs. Mm -hmm. 
This bedroom features a king bed, has an ensuite bathroom, and a balcony overlooking the pool. By the way, there are built in multi room speakers all over the house. The bathroom has a walk in shower and a soaking tub on the balcony. So the balcony also has lounge seating and wraps around the entire second floor. And the fourth bedroom is pretty similar. It also features a king bed, has an ensuite bathroom, and a balcony. This small office space is in both bedrooms upstairs. And just outside, we have a nice entertaining area that features a barbecue, benches, and a table. And it also has a deck that has beautiful nature and water views. The perfect chill spot. Isn't this a cute lounge seat? Okay, on this side we have the private spa and the gym. First up, the spa. I mean, how relaxing does this look? And it does feature another deck area which could be perfect for yoga or exercising. And then downstairs we have the private gym. So as you can see, there's a good amount of equipment. There's also a TV and a private bathroom. I'm not into exercising, but I, th I think I could get into it here. <laughs> And that's a wrap guys, absolutely beautiful, right? So since I technically wasn't a guest, I won't do my usual rating, but here's some information that I was able to get and some observations from my visit. So Villa Rosa is $1,700 per night for a max of 11 guests, and there's a four night minimum. Pricing includes a private chef, a housekeeper, and a butler, and it also includes membership to Half Moon Beach. In terms of location, the house is in Spring Farm, which is one of the most exclusive neighborhoods in Montego Bay, and it's just 10 minutes away from Sangster's International Airport and about 15 minutes away from the Montego Bay Hip Strip. Overall, it was the perfect getaway location, and it was very quiet and relaxing. So the question is, would I go back as a guest? absolutely if you like this video don't forget to leave a comment like and subscribe if you loved it please share and turn on your post notifications on to the next pursuit thank you so much for watching